Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to today's video in which I am going into full on summer mode and I'm going to be sharing with you 10 of my favourite summer pieces from my wardrobe right now. Right, let's get stuck straight in with item number one which is the white linen shirt. Now, I have picked white specifically and this was a little bit of a debate in my own head as to which one of my linen shirts to pick as a favourite. In the end, I did settle on white just because it's a, such a good all-rounder. It looks great with a tan, whether that be real and very careful real, wearing your SPF of course, or whether it be from a bottle, a la me. And white goes with everything and anything. If you like prints, if you like bold colour, it goes with prints and bold colour. It goes with neutrals, it goes with black. It is literally the most versatile colour. It's not really a colour, but it's the most versatile colour to have. I buy all of mine slightly oversized so that they are looser fitting. As you guys know, I'm not really a fan of tight clothing. And in the summer, tight clothing is just an absolute no-go. So these are the perfect thing to keep your skin covered. But I also really like the vibe of linen as a fabric. I think it is so summery. I think it is like the epitome of summer fabrics, if you like. Now this one I have steamed, so it looks nice and neat. <laughs> However, and I know this is kind of a bit of a bugbear of some people when it comes to linen. I know some people are a bit like, oh, but it creases too much. I actually enjoy the creases. I think that's all part of the charm of linen. And I say, embrace the creases. Moving on to item number two, and this is actually a new addition to my wardrobe, which some of you might have seen over on Instagram, because that's the only place where I have shown it thus far. And it is the Loewe Cushion Tote in Canvas. Now, for those of you who watched my wishlist video towards the start of the year, you will remember this bad boy being on said wishlist. It's been on my wish list for a good couple of years and finally I have managed to get one. I got it secondhand, hashtag secondhand but grand, of Festier. It's in really good condition. There's a couple of small marks on the bottom but that doesn't bother me. And although this is new, it has already become, and I've only had this I think for about a month now, it's already become my most worn bag over the last month. And so that's why I thought I'd feature it in today's video because I just think it's gonna be one of those bags that I wear so much throughout summer. So it's kind of a bit of a forward anticipation for this being a summer favorite. Now, this bag, it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles to it. It is just a basic tote bag. It does have these little, what I call wings. They're like flaps on the side of the bag. You can pull them in or pull them out. It has almost like a, like a doctor's bag style structure inside. So it has a metal structure in there. There are no bells and whistles. It is just a canvas bag with black leather trim. And this was specifically the colorway that I had been after for the last couple of years. So I'm really happy that my patience has paid off yet again and I have managed to find one of these. Right, moving on to my next item. And this one is rather brand specific and it is the Ralph Lauren Polo Cotton Cable Knit Jumper. And I know it might seem a little bit strange to have a jumper in a summer favourites video. However, over here in the UK, we do often start our summer mornings are a little bit cooler, summer evenings are a little bit cooler, and our summers in general are unpredictable at best. We can have some days which are a little bit chilly. And this is the sort of thing which I would occasionally wrap over my shoulders if going out day to day, or I might pop one in my bag so that I've got it for just in case. I think British people are all about the just in case. We like to be prepared for all of our weather happenings that might go on throughout the day. And these you can find all over the place secondhand. I bought mine secondhand. I think I got this for about 35 pounds because it is a modern one, it's not a vintage one. But because 
The Polo cable knit has been around for a good few decades now. You can also get them vintage. They come in men's and they come in ladies. This one here specifically is actually a lady style. And I upsized in this one to a size extra large, which you guys will see in the cutaways, so that it just fits a little bit more slouchy and oversized. That's the kind of fit that I personally prefer. And I'll wear this with denim shorts or some of the other items which I've got coming up on my rail. I'll wear it with a pair of jeans if it's a cooler day. I'll wear it with trousers like chinos, kind of like the ones that I've got on. It's just a really versatile item. And as I've said before, I would wear it also over my shoulders. And it gives that really kind of 90s princess dye sort of preppy vibe. And that's something that I really, really like. But it also provides the function of keeping you warm. Okay, moving on to my next item. It is the holy grail of summer wardrobe must-haves. It is the Levi's 501 cutoffs. These, these are, well they're not quite vintage, but these are so old. I've had these in my wardrobe for what seems like an eternity. They didn't start off with these rips on the bum, but now they do. And they're actually quite loose around the waist, so don't worry my, well, I was gonna say don't worry, my ass doesn't poke out the bottom, but it actually might do. Sorry, they're actually covered in grass because I wore them out in the garden the other day. Now, these ones in particular are my favorites. They are a little bit shorter than I think some people might like. So the bonus, of buying a full length pair of vintage Levi's jeans is that you can cut them off and make them the desired length that you prefer. You can also destroy them using sandpaper and the fraying of the hems to the sort of level of destroyed that you like. Or if you're not a fan of this kind of frayed effect, you could hem them yourself if you feel confident enough to do that, or you could take them to a tailor. And I think I had a pair of jeans hemmed once and it'd be the same price for a pair of shorts and it was about 10, 15 pounds if you find a local tailor or a seamstress, it wouldn't be very much at all. And the good thing about buying vintage Levi's 501s online and in charity shops, you can get them from as low as about 10 quid possibly even lower. Who knows? If you have ever bought a pair of vintage Levi's 501s, let me know the best price down in the comments that you've ever bought them for. I think my best was £12 and I got them on eBay. And actually, I made those into a pair of shorts, so I'll probably show you those in the cutaways. But yes, they're just you know, they are what they are. It's denim shorts in summer. You can wear them with linen shirt. I often wear them with my Ralph Lauren cable knits, wear them with a t-shirt. Just a good all-rounder for summer. Okay, moving on to my next item, which is a pair of shoes. Yes, Birkenstocks. Uh, Arizona is the style, the colour of these, which I know a lot of you constantly ask me. If you see the photo on my Instagram, which often floats about on Pinterest or gets regrammed by style accounts on Instagram, I'm wearing all black, like a black lightweight jumper, black linen trousers, and these, and a canvas bag. And I get so many people every day, even in winter, ask me what colour these are. The official Birkenstock colour of these is faded khaki. Now, I bought these last year, was it? Yeah, last year. And they sold out quite quickly. And I think that they've been quite difficult to get hold of since then. I don't know if it's because they were a specific colour for that year and they haven't brought them out again. I'm not entirely sure. I will hunt online for you guys. And if I can find them in this colour, then I will link them down below in the description box. But they are the suede version of Arizona's, which just from my personal experience, and I don't know if anyone else is the same, because I know there's a lot of you guys who are big fans of Birkenstocks out there, the suede are definitely the most comfortable. I feel like the oiled leather take a little bit longer to sort of soften, because they are a bit more structured. So the suede would always be my go-to if buying a pair of Arizona's. Now, the thing that I love the most about this specific colorway, and Birkenstock have started doing this with a few other colors recently as well, is that they've color matched the buckle and also the sole. So it makes the sandals just kind of two colorways rather than the natural color of the sort of cork sole 
then the suede colour or leather colour and then the buckle colour because on a lot of Birkenstocks the buckle colour is a completely different colour altogether. Some of them are like a bronze or like a sort of tarnished copper colour and so that's why I was particularly drawn to these and they have very quickly become one of my favourite and most comfortable pairs of summer sandals. Okay, next item is the linen suit. Now, I bought two of these. It's such a recent purchase and I've only worn one of them so far because our weather has been a little bit on and off. And we've also been doing a lot of stuff in the garden. So this isn't really gardening appropriate attire, but Simon and I have found that we have become quite sociable, a lot more sociable than how we used to be where we used to live. We're now part of a really lovely community in the countryside, in our little village. And there are a lot of social events. We go to the pub every Friday. We actually go to various other pubs throughout the week. We've got lots and lots of social events that are organized by our parish. And yes, we're just little social bees now. So I kind of wanted a few sort of wardrobe additions for summer that were gonna feel comfortable, but also smart, but also not too smart, like not to the point where it's kind of wedding dress, sort of dress code, but something that does look like a nice put together outfit. And so long story short, I decided to get a couple of linen suits. Now linen suits with waistcoats, not with like full on blazers. And these are definitely gonna be a firm sort of wardrobe staple of mine for all of our summer events that we've got coming up. I just think there's something which is really comfortable to wear because they're nice and lightweight. And at the same time, they have the tailoring element there, so they also feel smart. But they're the kind of thing that I feel like I can wear with a pair of Birkenstocks just to sort of cash them down a bit. I would not be adverse to wearing these just during the day if we were going to blue water for something or to the cinema. I wouldn't be adverse to just wearing these for sort of day-to-day -day kind of wear either. Right, next item is a, another bag. And this one is my Dragon Diffusion Nantucket bag. And it wasn't my first Dragon Diffusion bag. I'd already had the Canage tote. And I just found that I wasn't wearing that one as much because unlike this one, it didn't have the cutout here, which allows you, if I just demonstrate, whoop, to wear it as a shoulder bag. The canage tote sort of cuts off here, which makes it very difficult to wear. It's more of a handbag, like a carrying bag. Whereas this one, you can actually wear on the shoulder, which I just find so much more practical for summer. Now, another thing about practicality with this bag, it is leather. And I wouldn't normally reach for leather bags during the summer months because I am drawn to the more canvas and like basket styles, the more natural styles, the bags that you can't really wear in like autumn, winter. So I just like to wear those in the seasons where it is most appropriate. So the beauty of this bag, even though it is leather, is that it's woven leather. So it gives off the summer vibes but it also makes it practical in terms of dirt. So it'd be a really good summer bag if you live in the city because it doesn't attract a lot of dirt. And if you've got dirt on there, it wouldn't be visible. You can also just wipe it clean with a cloth. Unlike the canvas bags, which you do have to be a little bit more careful with. And even the sort of woven wicker basket bags, which can catch on things. And the wicker is a little bit more delicate. It's actually a lot more delicate than a woven leather bag. Now I have actually found some more affordable alternatives for these, which I have linked down in the description box below, along with a link to find these secondhand but grand like I did, because I saved, I think 150, 150 or 120 quid on buying this new, and it was actually new. The person who sold it to me was not actually using it or hadn't used it since they bought it. It was an unwanted gift or something. Okay, next item is cotton shorts. Now these ones specifically are from Kos and they are my faves. My first pair was from three years ago and I think that was a black color. And then I have white and navy, which are from two years ago. So the ones that I have 
are not current. However, I will link down below in the description box, along with everything else in this video, the current style that they have, which actually I think they still have the navy and the white. They have a couple of really bold colours in there as well, if that is your kind of jam. They are just the perfect length for me, the perfect amount of bagginess, not too baggy, but not too tight fitting. They have a back pocket, they have two side pockets, but most importantly, let's just have a moment to appreciate the elasticated waist. I'm a big fan of an elasticated waist, always have been, uh, especially in summer. I just think that in summer, it should be about comfort. I don't want to feel uncomfortable and elasticated waistbands are all about the comfort factor, especially if one is going to be partaking in some hefty Jubilee lunch afternoon tea celebrations. Very excited about the Jubilee, by the way. Not a royalist in any way, shape or form, but as a typical Brit, I am just excited that we all get to go out and party. And I don't drink, I just mean eat a lot of cucumber sandwiches, scones, jam, cream and tea. So yes, the shorts, anyway, back to the shorts. Just such a good wardrobe staple that I've had for a couple of years now. I find them really, really wearable. They're the sort of thing that if we went away on a holiday, I'd just shove them in my beach bag so I could just whip them on if I needed to go to the bar or the loo or somewhere. They're also just one of those things that I get a lot of daily wear out of, just whether we be sort of pottering about in the garden or if we've got to nip to the supermarket or the grocery store or anything like that. It's just the kind of really good everyday item that I can just throw on in the summer. On to the penultimate item now, and it is my Chanel dad sandals, which I know I sound like a broken record because I speak about these rather a lot but they genuinely are one of my top three most comfortable summer sandals. These are right in there with my Dear Francis tie slides and my Birkenstock Arizonas, which I've already shown you guys. Now I'm not gonna speak about these at length too much because I did a dedicated review on these, but I am definitely getting my money's worth out of these sandals. And one thing that I would say, and I think I mentioned this in that review video, and I've spoken about it before just in general, is that I will only buy things, especially trend orientated things like this, because these were a huge trend a couple of years ago, and I didn't actually buy them when they initially sort of exploded, but I liked them so much and knew they would be one of those sort of forever staples in my wardrobe that I bought them anyway. And even though the trend is not so at the forefront of trends at the moment, I will continue to wear them happily. I do not buy things that I know I won't wear once they not become a trend or once they not become in. Who, like, who even determines what's in? Like, I just don't care. Don't care, everyone. Just buy things that you love, that make you feel comfortable um, and confident and yes, Chanel dad sandals, here for the win. Right, we've made it on to the last item, which won't surprise you at all, that it's more linen. So these are elasticated waist, that's the main point here, black linen trousers. These are from Arquette, and I have these in black, white, beige, and khaki? No, brown, brown, dark brown. And I love them. Arquette do really good linen in the same way that Dish do, but really good sort of basic pieces. So the white linen shirt, that was also from Arquette. I have those in every single colorway that they do. Love them. Wash well, wear well, fit nicely. And yes, same goes for the trousers. Nice and lightweight, not lined at all. So you do have to be a little bit careful with the white ones because they are a bit see-through. So you have to get some nude underwear. For the black ones though, you can't really see through them. I just wear my big, uh, my big, <laughs> they're not big. They're just normal black cotton pants, breathable. No one wants thrush in summer. It's a life lesson. Anyway, <laughs> don't need to be talking about thrush on a Sunday morning, do we? Yes, elasticated waist, which I've already touched on, the most comfortable element of a summer sort of bottom. 
I don't want anything that's going to be high-waisted and tight and you know if you have a bit of a lunch you can loosen them you can tie the ties should you want to they do have two side pockets as well these are so so comfortable the perfect kind of cover-up if you don't like to bear a lot of skin in the summer months you like to keep your skin protected definitely a nice sort of loose fitting linen trouser is the way to go in my personal opinion right there we go thank you as always for watching and listen to me waffle on about clothes and accessories I feel like this video is kind of replaced, or not replaced, but sort of, it's along the same lines as what I'm looking forward to wearing in summer. So I won't be making one of those videos because this has kind of already touched on everything. So if there's anything that you guys are looking forward to wearing or your favorite kind of summer piece, whether it be clothing or shoes or a bag, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I've listed everything or as much as possible with alternatives and various other bits and pieces down in the description box for you guys. I know some people are having a few issues looking at the description box. Depending on what device you're on, you just need to click the little arrow. It's like a black triangle on most devices, I think, to expand the box and you'll get all of the gubbins written down in there. Now, I hope you enjoy your weekend. I am not gonna see you guys until the last day of the Jubilee weekend next week. So do enjoy for all of you Brits out there. Enjoy the festivities of our four day bank holiday. And I will see you next Sunday.